President Ekufado has called for major reforms in the composition and structure of the United Nations Security Council to allow Africa to have at least two permanent seats on the council. Delivering his maiden address to the United Nations 72nd General Assembly in New York, President Akufuado said the current structure and composition of the Security Council, where Africa does not have a permanent seat, is not fair. This is not the first time President Ekufado is addressing the United Nations General Assembly. He first addressed the Assembly as Ghana's foreign minister in 2006 when the country was given a non-permanent status in the UN Security Council between 2005 and 2006. This time, however, Nane Ekufado addressed the UN General Assembly as the president of Ghana. He touched on a myriad of issues from global politics world peace and security, hunger, disaster, and poverty. He said these issues must engage the attention of world leaders and receive a lasting solution. President Ekufado, who is the co-chair of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, said these goals, if followed through, would lift many above the poverty line. The images that have recently dominated our television screens of devastation, caused by floods in Houston, Texas, in Dhaka, Bangladesh, in Mumbai, India, in Palpa, Nepal, in Dominica, Puerto Rico, Antigua and Barbuda, and Sigmata, all in the Caribbean, and in Miami, Niger. As I watched and listened, along with the rest of the world, it occurred to me that all put together the SDGs are indeed a worthwhile set of goals for the world. He outlined his vision as a Ghanaian leader to the UN General Assembly, which includes building Ghana beyond age. We do not want to be a scar on anybody's conscience. We want to build an economy that is not dependent on charity and handouts. Long and bitter experience has taught us that no matter how generous the charity, we will remain poor. We want to build a Ghana which looks to the use of its own resources and their proper management as the way to engineer social and economic growth in our country. We want to build an economy that looks past commodities to position our country in the global marketplace. We are not disclaiming aid but we do want to discard a mindset of dependency and living on handouts. We want to build a Ghana beyond aid. It is an easier platform on which to build sustainable relationships. President Ekufado expressed Ghana's commitment to play her part to support a world free of nuclear weapons. A world free of nuclear weapons must be in all our collective interests. As the foreign minister for Ghana in 2005, President Ekufado spearheaded the crafting of the Ezulwini consensus with the main aim of pushing for reforms in the UN Security Council to give Africa two permanent seats and five non-permanent seats in the council. And when he had the opportunity to address the General Assembly, this time as President of Ghana, he said the time is long overdue for Africa to have a permanent seat on the Security Council. I say nothing new when I draw attention to the urgent need to reform this organization. It has been talked about and scheduled for a long time, but somehow we have never found the courage and the will to reform the United Nations. The time is long overdue to correct the long-standing injustice that the current structure and composition of the UN Security Council represent for the nations of Africa. We cannot continue to preach democracy and fairness around the world. We cannot insist on peace and justice around the world when our global organization is not seen by the majority of its members as having a structure that is just and fair. It is indeed seen by many as helping to perpetuate an unfair world order. 
This organization provides the best vehicle for the world to manage its many varied problems, and we will undermine its credibility and fail in our duty if we do not reform the United Nations. We dare not let ourselves and future generations down. The time for reform has come. I thank you very much for your attention.